Death Valley, Clemson, South Carolina. They've touched the rock, and now they're ready to rock against the top team in the ACC. Clemson dominated the 80s, five conference crowns in that decade. But since Florida State became the ninth member of the ACC, it has been all Knowles ever since. They've owned Tiger country as well. We'll see about that today as Clemson, the number 15 team in the country, gets set for the fifth-ranked Florida State Seminoles. They've won five straight over Clemson. Clemson won the toss and deferred. They'll kick it off. And that's David Richardson, who's got it teed up from Death Valley. Jermaine Stringer and Lavernius Coles back deep for the Knowles. And from Memorial Stadium, we're underway. Nice kick. And he's going to bring it from five yards deep. Stringer. And he's got some room on the side. The kicker is going to save him from going coast to coast. At the Chili starting lineup, the Biggins up front, Brandon Whitaker, Long Heaven, and Trey Thomas, who might be better than the guy they had playing there last year, they tell us. E.G. Green and Peter Warwick, the wideouts, Pearsall, is the tight end. Thad Busby at the controls, D. Feaster, and Abdullah in the backfield with a three wideout set on first down. There's the numbers last year against Clemson for Thad Busby. He's off to a great start again this season. Has time. On the run, pump fakes, and he'll keep it. Got about seven. It is no slouch in its own right. Planton White and Bromel up front. White, 94 tackles last year from that tackle spot. Dingle Abdullah, Wilson, Anthony Simmons, a two-time All-ACC performer, and some people say an All-American. The corners will be tested today. Trust me, Allen and Ward, Edwards and Fox, a lot of experience. And it's Busby under center with Feaster, the tailback, who gets the call. Feaster heading to the corner and run down by Simmons, the man I just talked about. And already 81,000 plus on their feet for the Tiger defense. Busby under pressure, throws incomplete, and he got hit as he threw. And it's three and out. Back deep for Clemson. Nice kick. Horn's got a back pedal and he watches it go all the way to the end zone. Up front. Bundren's an all-ACC performer. Halsey, 335. Gamble, Roundtree, and Postel round out the front five. Horn, you just saw, back in punt formation. He had walked with the wideouts with Paul the tight end. Brandon Strader comes out to take the first snap. Priester and Witherspoon in the backfield. First down. Tigers from their own 20. That is Priester. Got about three. And they just plug new ones in there. As Wadsworth moved from tackle to end, it might be the best there is in the country at that spot. Smith, Johnson, and Bryant on the front four. And in the 4-3, rangy linebackers. Cowart, Daryl Bush didn't play last week. He's back and healthy in Lamont Green. And in the secondary, Samari Roll. And Tay Cody on the corners. Jackson and Smith are the safety. And there's Wadsworth lining up in that track stance. Already three sacks on the season. And here's Clemson, Air Clemson, with a three-wide receiver set up. Streeter across the middle, flags down as it's a first down out to the 35. To Offside, Florida State decline. We've been building them to this point and for a game like this. First down, Clemson on the option. Hits. Priester got the corner. Got almost seven. And Clemson off to a good start. For Clemson to keep this Florida State defense honest. Tigers would love this second and short. And Priester's got the first down across the 45. First down, Clemson at the 46. Their opening drive of the ball game. Offensively, after forcing Florida State to a three and out. Throw incomplete as Horn broke down for you. And again, Clemson sets up in the spread with four wide receivers for Streeter. Brandon has time and delivers. And it's going to be a first down. Justin Watts with a second effort. They set up. At the Seminole 42 yard line. Again in the shotgun. Streeter throws over the middle. Tony Horn, first down, down to the 32 yard line. How about this? <laughs> first down at the 32 yard line. Does she? <laughs> I think so. Their first 2 0 start since 88 as well. Let's look. Streeter on the option, keeps it. Cuts inside the 25. He might go. Touchdown.
for first game jitters for the quarterback. And that man capped it off from 32 yards on the option at 7 0 Clemson. And this is an offense that didn't even score a touchdown last week in win. It's amazing. Lavernius Coles is going to bring it out from five yards deep as well. Hit at the 10, broke a tackle, flags down, he hurdles a man. And I think Florida State's going to start in a hole. They are. Holding against the Knowles. Feaster, the tailback, in the Seminole eye. But it's Busby to throw. Pump fake wants to go deep on the sideline. Great adjustment made. The catch at the 35. It's Warwick, and he's still on his feet. Gets pounded at the 43-yard line. He got a first down out near the 44-yard line. Feaster in motion. Busby wants to go out to him in the flat and does, and he puts a nice move on. But pretty well played by Antoine Edwards, and he came to Death Valley instead, and Tommy West said, I couldn't be more happy about that. Second down at eight. Busby deep ball, and it's complete down to the 12. Nope, he dropped it. And we're going to hope from some human error. That's what he's talking about. They're going to get open every once in a while. That time, a little human error. Busby. Run down by Simmons. This one going to be fair caught. And now Horn's going to clear out of the way himself. He made a little bit of a mistake there by not catching it. Cost his team about five yards. Has helped spot his team up by seven. And they start from their own seven. All the time in motion to cross the Priester. Florida State defense can run. Florida State doesn't give up much. A yard per carry for two games. The USC and Maryland. Streeter in trouble from his own goal line, but he got it out incomplete. A great final surge. Here's Bush lined up right there. That's called the bear defense for this Florida State team. Deep middle. Horn with a catch. Whoa, what a hit, but Tony Horn held on. Dexter Jackson, he took a big shot, but he held on for a first down at the 29-yard line. Straight ahead, Terry Witherspoon, the fullback. And they want to do it evenly from quarter to quarter. Three wide out group again for Streeter. Now second down and seven. Brandon throws incomplete intended for Tony Horn, who had checked back in. They'd like to punt the ball if they don't get it. They show the four wide out spread formation again. Streeter, short pass to Horn. Boy, Tony's going to say, hey, Brandon, you know yeah. what? These guys are killing right. Victor. He is back deep. Nice kick. Feaster trying to track it down. It bounces at the two-yard line. He had to pick it up. Now can they track Feaster down? Back across the 25 and all the way out to the 28-yard line. Boy. And as Gooch in at the tailback spot, fumble. Clemson's got it. Howard Bartley, I don't think Busby ever had the handle on the snap. About to beat ranked teams back to back for the first time in a long time. Last week it was 25th ranked North Carolina State. Today it's number five Florida State, and they've got a 7 0 lead. Streeter to the air. Would have been an acrobatic catch by Tony Horn. Bro. Needs to get the ball to Priester. Priester with him in the backfield. Florida State showing blitz. They'll come with it. Trying to go to Priester and it's intercepted. And it's Bush going the other way. Darrell Bush to midfield. They tried to do what Gary said, but the All-ACC linebacker. And an interception return out to the 49. Busby fakes a pitch. And he's going to keep it. No, he throws on the run. And he got it there to the 26-yard line. Peter Warwick. Warwick with a diving catch. First down is what it is at the 26-yard line of Clemson. And the Tigers blitz. Busby running for his life, and he does well. This is so noisy. <laughs> Second down. Busby bumps once. Wide open is wide out inside the 20. Peter Warwick. Third and short. Busby to throw for it. And one hopped it incomplete. Specialist with about 40 yards in, and then Sebastian Danikowski is the long ball kicker. This one's a 34 yard attempt for Gramatica, and he's got it. So the Clemson defense 
Holds on third and one, forces a field goal. Grammatica nails it, and that's the first points of the ball game for Florida State. Eight times out of nine, he won't let anybody return this. This kick is returnable. Horn at the two. Tony Horn trying to break tackles and does across the 20. Tony Horn now picks up some blockers and he's all the way to the 35 yard line. I may have said a 22 yard return, a 32 yard return out to the 35 yard line. Four wide outs here and Streeter under center and too much time I think the Tigers took. But he's run the team well. Three. Here they are in the shotgun again with four wideouts on second and 12. Streeter over the middle a little bit low. Had the quick slant incomplete. Third down at 12. Just under three minutes left first quarter. High snap. Streeter can't handle it. And the ball still loose. Kicked around. Coward in the end zone. Touchdown Florida State. That's how quickly it can turn. Make one mistake against this group, it'll cost you six. And a happy linebacker, Sam Coward, who we just talked about with the touchdown and the extra point by Bill Gramatica, up and good. So just that quickly it can turn. Clemson was up 7-0. Florida State went down, got a field goal, and then on the fumble recovery in the end zone by Sam Coward, it's 10-7. Janikowski didn't get a hold of the first one. This time he sends it to the two again, to Edwards. Antoine Edwards. He got out a nice return across the 25. Comes to try to reestablish a little bit of a ground attack here. They've got Javis Austin, true freshman in there right now at tailback, not Priester. Option to Austin. Oh, oh what a hit. <laughs> or three hits. Four hits, five hits. Under two minutes, first quarter. Florida State now leading 10-7. Straight ahead with the ground game, and they only got about another yard. Raymond Priester's always done well two games ago, two years ago against Florida State. He had a big game. Last year, not quite as productive. Third and long. Streeter in the pocket, and down he goes. First sack of the day. Gavin Laird to punt his first one with 64 yards. Not quite as deep this time, and returnable for Peter Warwick. And he's dangerous, but he dropped the ball, and down he goes. Does beat. Quick drop. And the quick pass outside got it to the 45 at the end of the first quarter. 10-7, Florida State leads Clemson. But you throw from one level to the other. Coach West says it's a great advantage because they have drainage, but also no other team. A first down here as Florida State's moved it downfield to the Clemson 46-yard line. Second man through, and it's Dee Feaster. Florida State has been unable to run so far now in this their third game of the season play action Busby in trouble pressured and dragged down it won't be a sack nice matchup here E.G. Green against Antoine Edwards a strong safety let's see if they bring some pressure on Busby they try to he rifles it near side and it's caught by Warwick and he's got a first down Coaches say he stepped out of bounds back at the 36. Uh, I think he did, but I think he still has the first down. He's playing zone defense to the outside. Great read. I think he was out of bounds with a catch. I don't think they well, gave him the catch. I don't know. It was awful close right there. They're going to punt. Oh, my. Antoine Edwards waiting on the oh, punt. Way up in the air, but off the side of his foot. Bounces and takes a Clemson hop. So I said he made the wrong call, but it ended up being the right call. Mm -hmm. First down at the 23. Clemson still trying to get something going on the ground this time. Raymond Priester got a little bit, about four. Second down and six. Priester with the tailback in the eye and a whistle at the snap. And a dead ball, false start on the offense, five yards. That's right. He was a heck of a quarterback. Bobby was talking about him with us yesterday. Spread here on second down 11. There's a little shovel pass Gary was talking about earlier. Priester in the open field. Out to the 39. First down, Clemson. 
Toss sweep to Priester on first down. And Raymond Priester's got it out for what looks like another first down as he takes. Remember the shovel pass to Priester. Watch after he pitches it. Everybody took their eyes off of it, but whoa. Seabor didn't take his eyes off him. You see the right shoulder he seems to be favoring. They let out a loud cry, and I was next to Streeter when he did that. We'll see what the results say from the x-rays they take inside, though. So if Dead ball, ball. False start. Only off. He might be 75%, but he's coming in to save the team. From the shotgun, and that's not the way you want to be rushed on your second play in. And he dropped the ball. Florida State's got it. Larry Smith, how they covered it. An offside call against Florida State's giving it right back to Clemson. Second down a yard. Straight ahead with a fullback, and he's got the first at the 49. It's Terry Witherspoon. He was worse than James Brown was on Thursday for Texas the week before, and he didn't play. Cut it, cut it. Talks to Priester. Back to the line of scrimmage, maybe got a yard. A little over nine and a half for remaining second quarter. 10-7 Florida State on the toss to Priester. Raymond got it into. That's what you got to do. Third down from the shotgun. Elon wants to swing it out, and it tips. And caught by Brewster, even though it was tipped, and he got back to the line of scrimmage. Florida State was kind of playing it for a possible fake punt, I think. He lays one up there. Fair catch taken near the 14-yard line. yard interception return Florida State is going to set back in the zone they say all right you can throw it but we don't think you can throw it good enough downfield tries to get it to horn Chevon comes in makes the play but watch number 50 takes on two blockers on one leg and makes the stop wow. what a courageous play it's going to take a big time defensive stop here to keep Florida State from points and Busby dropped the ball covered it himself just over three minutes left in the half Busby over the middle. E.G. Green got back to the original line of scrimmage, but if Busby can hear himself think he's a better man than I right now. Flares it out to Feaster. Feaster to the 19, but well short of the try. Bill Gramatica hit one from 34. This is from 37. And he missed it. with their defense. When Florida State had the ball, they used their front seven, and they kept those great receivers off balance with bump coverage. Well, the Tigers will work first and 20, uh, first and 10 from their own 20. They start the third quarter. And the left side, it's Priester. Got about three. Second down at seven. Elon Green. Back to pass. Tony Horn. Horn got it out to about the 27. Third down at three. Perhaps you would love to open up with a first down here on their opening march for the quarter, and they'll get it. Wow. He may not be fast, but he's one tough cookie. First down just inside the 35. And it's Priester again on a counter, and if he could have kept his balance, he'd have had a big gainer. But on a second down and eight, toss to Austin. And Javis Austin only got about a yard. And third down and six here for Clemson. High snap. That was almost a disaster again. And because of that, the timing of the whole play thrown off. And is up. Let's see if they try to put some heat on the punter. Oh, they back away. And Richardson hit another beauty. Warren, great catch over his shoulder at the seven. And here he comes the other way. And he fumbled. Clemson's got it. At the 28-yard line of Florida State, special teams can make a difference. Green, back to throw. Wanted to go deep, comes back to Horn, and Horn down the sideline. Tony Horn, a spin. Touchdown! Best cover guy on the team this time. This is the tackle. Troy Saunders misses the tackle in the open. And Tony Horn makes a ballet-type run down the sideline. 
to take it into the end zone. You are watching some shocking play from Clemson. Matt Padgett in for the point after. He's got it. Clemson back in front. Tony Horn takes it to the end zone. It's the Tigers by four. They had to throw the ball. Today, it's part of the regular offense. Jermaine Stringer at the nine. To the middle of the field, buried under at the 27. Three wideouts for Busby. There's his numbers on the day from the shotgun. Looked like maybe Clemson was offside. Busby throws incomplete. In There's a penalties today. From the fourth against Clemson on the afternoon. Busby to throw, going deep sideline. And it's caught inside the 30, and it's Warwick. He made a great adjustment. It was good coverage back there. He has a 37-inch vertical, a Michael Jordan-type vertical, and he just goes up over Ward on a ball that, again, was slightly under throw. And then he comes back and grabs a face pass, but that was just wonderful. At the Clemson 24-yard line. Busby lays it out sideline to work again. He goes out of bounds. Here, they pick up the first down on a quarterback sneak. Straight ahead for Busby, first down. They're backed up to their own 14-yard line. Feaster in motion out of the backfield. Busby to the end zone. It's knocked down. At the 14, Seminoles trail by four. Draw play on the shotgun. And it's Feaster, and he nailed at the 10. Oh, what a hit. Here's a third down and a long five. Busby completes. I don't think it's a first down, though. No, I don't think so either. It's going to be a yard short. Janikowski now. He's going to do all the field goal kicking. It might be for the rest of the year. Remember, <laughs> Gramatica missed one earlier. Yeah. So here's the big leg, the true freshman. Got a 22-yarder. And that quiets the crowd momentarily. But what a great stand by the Clemson defense. After giving up the big play to Warwick, they hold Bobby Bodden Seminoles to a field goal. You gotta play Miami and Florida every year. You gotta go to Clemson, North Carolina. That's a tussle. Janikowski fueled by his first uh, field goal of the day. Not from the 20 now. Clemson with a one-point lead, just under nine to go third quarter. Bush thinking about a blitz. On the option, it's Priester. He needed a block out of the corner and didn't get it. He's still Florida in a blitz look this time. This time, it's the first man through on the option. Third down and two. Took over for Brandon Streeter, who started the game for Clemson because of Green's injury. Takes the toss, and down he goes. Wadsworth all over it. Punt coming up for Clemson. They just got it away. Fair catch. Feaster will field it at the 41-yard line. <laughs> on both sides. Gooch in at the tailback spot right now. Busby on first down wants to throw. Wants to go deep and now comes back to the near side. Warwick again. And again a first down. With 6.45 left in the third. On first down. Play action. Deep ball for Warwick. He got it. And he'll score. Touchdown. Oh, my. How many acrobatic catches can one guy make in a day? 48 yards. Perfect covered by David Evans. Watch this. He turns around. No interference. And it worked. Just goes over the top of him. The ball was put in a spot by Thad Busby. Same set of receivers that we told you about. And the tight end is... There's off. Warwick right there. Busby. And he got it in there. To Coles, good for two. Penalty markers down. The pass interference on the defense. Decline. The points are good. Fastball right in the strike zone, and a two-point conversion is given for Florida State. A touchdown lead, 21 to 14. With six minutes and 32 seconds remaining. A two-play drive, 59 yards, and would really. Shake up the ACC in the country. If Clemson could come from behind now and win this. And whoops, he stepped out, didn't he? 
They're going to say touchback. Thought he stepped out of the end zone. He's not quite there yet, guys. Well, this group of cats is only seven down from the 20. Tigers trail and knocked back for a loss is Raymond Priester. Elon Green having a look. Three wide out offense. Looks like he's changing things up at the line. He'll give it off to Priester. Broke one tackle and got back near the original line of scrimmage, but it's just... Four-man rush for Florida State. Green loads to Horn. First down, Clemson and Tony Horn. 17-yard pickup on the last one and a first down. 11 men at the line of scrimmage for Florida State. Option, Priester. Boy, that's speed. Tony Bryant this time, the other defensive end, and he... That's what you got to do. Right now, Ed Altman just wants to get it in Elon Green's hands and then try to hit somebody. And he did, and it's play action. And Elon going long. Just overshot his intended receiver, Tony Horn. And the shovel pass almost intercepted. That's a dead ball right there. Incomplete pass. Yeah. Florida State pulled off somebody. Well, he hit it a mile in the air again. Warwick's can't thunder it, though. Look out for him from the 15. Warwick. Taken down at the 25, a 10-yard return. Of Play fake, Busby rolls, watch the throw. And he does. Reggie Heron, one hard-working defensive coordinator today. That short yardage, they don't get it. Gooch, third down, a long one. Busby, that one is intercepted. And it's Ward off the deflection. Now it's up to the Clemson offense, though, to get something in gear from the 44 Florida State. Toss, Priester. He had to break a tackle just to barely get back to a one-yard loss. Priester this time flanking Elon Green in the gun. Everybody up close for Florida State. Here they come. Green, deep sideline for Watts, and he made a catch. I got you, man. I got you up all over you. He's not going to throw it. What? How could he throw that ball right there? And now it is Clemson in the Florida State red zone at the 19-yard line. From the gun, over the middle, another nice catch. Nope, they're going to say incomplete. I thought he caught it. The ball just outside the Florida State 18-yard line. 21 14 Seminoles lead. Green going to the end zone for Horn. He says he was pushed in route and no flags. A far cry difference. That was against North Carolina State. They couldn't get into the end zone. Today they're looking to, to try to tie it. Horn almost picked off by Dexter Jackson. It's going to be a 36-yard field goal attempt. Try to cut into Florida State's lead. Padgett, and he's got it. 126 left in the third quarter. And Clemson gets something out of that interception by Devon Ward. It remains Stringer and Lavernius Coles back deep this time. They hit a line drive, picked up at the 10 by Stringer. Touch back against the grain. Trying to work his way outside and finally did. Nice return. Travis Miner in the Florida State backfield now. Remember, as Dean said, Feaster are checking his ribs in the locker room. And Gooch has not been effective today. Busby on first down. Getting some pressure. Runs up out of the pocket. Evade, evades a tackler and somehow he got around. They've got eight up close. And it's second and five. Here they come. Here they come is Gary Sitton. Oh, that's Busby. intentional grounding. Threw it away. That's intentional grounding. Third and long, they'll go zone now. Busby. Half roll, now sets and goes deep middle. Got a man out there, it's Ward. And he dropped it. That's the easiest catch of the day, and he didn't hold it. Makes the big plays, but not the easy ones. Florida State's got a punt. They've got a good one. Tony Horn waits on it at the 15. Broke one tackle. Tony Horn. Tony Horn to the 30. Nice return. And a first down. A toss yeah. to Priester. And Priester takes some people with him for about five. <laughs> We've played three in Death Valley. Everybody's standing. 
End of the third quarter. Florida State leads 21-17. He's coming through. Fred Hoover, the head trainer, Clemson said, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe he'll put a miracle off on Saturday. Priester crushed in the backfield. Laird to punt. High kick. Warwick waiting on it at the 10. Warwick got the corner. He might go. The punter to beat. Reverses field inside the 30. Warwick is going to score. 90 yards, touchdown. Sometimes he can't make the easy plays, but boy, can he make the big play. Right there, and Peter Warwick is having a Heisman day of himself. Extra point is up by Gramatica and good. And that was the fear, remember, a year ago with a 79-yard punt. This time, it's a 90-yarder. Almost out of the end zone again. He's done everything else. First down, and now Neilon Green's got to work from down 11 and in some trouble. And probably a holding call to boot here. Flags fly in. Clemson has an improved passing game, but it's not to the level of the play when they're behind against this type of team. Again, Florida State, 10 guys up close. It looked like both the left tackle and the defense move. Almost tackle moves. You're right. She's up. In the gun. Fires complete to Watts. First down, Clemson across the 35. They said they had more cramps last week at home against Maryland where the field temperature was around 115 degrees. <laughs> Quick slant broken up. And a penalty marker. That was <laughs> pass interference. Defense. Penalty at the spot of the foul. First down. You're going to call Dave Perry Monday. Oh, yeah, he loves it. Yeah, I know he does. From the gun. Green middle is Horn, and he's in a head-on collision with Dexter Jackson. All 11 guys are in your picture right there. There's nobody back. And a dead ball, false start, offense. Clemson again with a four wide-out group. Aaron, a bear look again. They're going to come. Quick one over the middle of Horn. He's got the first down. Tony Horn now 98 yards. Yep, I think they have it. They're going to go deep before we know it here. First down at the 47. Is this the time? Down the middle to Horn again. Tony Horn inside the 20. Well, this time, instead of doing the slant, he faked the slant. You know why Neilon Green's in the shotgun is because he can't move. Going to move a little bit before he throws this one to the end zone. Walker, touchdown. In the end zone, it's 28-23. Watch him run the option. Elon Green having a long look at that Florida State front. He's calling it at the line of scrimmage. There's the option. There's Priester. There's two points. There may be a penalty marker in the end zone. Illegal participation, 12 on the defense, declined the points of view. Raymond Priester, he didn't mind whether there was 11 or 12. That's why Green had a such time calling the play. There were 12 guys out there. Right now, David Richardson like to knock it right into the student section. He almost did. Play action. Wants it all on one play for Green. Incomplete. Good coverage back there by Michael Allen. Second and ten. Busby. Got a man out there. And it's who else? Warwick down the sideline. Warwick takes it. Touchdown. 
80 yards. I'm absolutely dumbfounded. I have never seen so much air go out of such a big orange balloon in my life. Juan Edwards or Chad Speck is going to catch him. Dramatic is pulled after. Follows just another dramatic performance by that guy. 249 yards receiving and two touchdowns. Yeah, and that doesn't count a 90-yard TD on a punt. On top of that, he misses it. It probably won't be returned. It is returnable, maybe. Tony Horn, two yards deep. Tony Horn, and Tony Horn into the secondary now. Down the sideline for Tony Horn. Florida State by 10. Clemson trying to change that right here. And again, the left tackle. Dead ball, false start, offense. Exclusively shotgun because Neilon Green can't move. Green pressure from the backside. Throws a dart. Almost caught. And then almost intercepted. It's 35-25 Florida State. Tony Horns back in there. Penalty markers down, incomplete on the pass, and Neilon Green down. I think Wadsworth is offside. But... At the 23, the original line of scrimmage, second down at 10. Neilon Green throws outside. That one skipped off his hand. Sam Cowart was waiting there.